In this particular world that we live in, you already got to have talent for Satan and demons and stuff like that to use you. I'm going to say that again. You already got to have talent for them type of people, for the spiritual realms, to use you in a negative way. I'm going to tell y'all why. It's basically common sense. Every you know, even even the kid can understand this. All right. They can't use you if you haven't put no work in. Basically, because once you get to a certain limit in life, they come to you eventually. We see it all the time when we when when you know you guys see these celebrities and stuff. They go downhill. They go uphill. It's like you know. It's never a balance. And I'm going to tell you why it's never a balance. Because once you get to a certain point in life, once you get to a certain level, it becomes inevitable. Things become different to you. You see more, you understand more. But you already got to have talent. You already got to have had to put in some work for them to use you. Because remember people, remember this. Satan and demons, they're lazy. They don't like to put in the real work. So what they do is they let you and, and, and whoever start the process. You, you come up with the idea and then they step in. It's been going on for so long till, till people is used to it. But we're going to finish and, and, and end all of that. But they can't use you if you haven't put in no work. And the reason why. Demons jump from body to body and things like that. It's because they scared, they're weaklings. They 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 willing to hide because that's part of hiding the truth. They don't want to be seen for the people that they are, so they jump from body to body and they look for strong bodies. Of course, you know there's they have to jump from numerous amounts until they get to the types that they need. But the reason that they hold the people with talent, with with so much authority, to the point where you know it becomes difficult for them, for people of that aspect. They surrounded by so much, so much negativity, so much negative people, and it's quite it's quite obvious, but most people don't understand it. I I was up in Canada playing, and uh, I was playing at this club in Montreal called the Mustache Club, and uh, I think it, I'm sure it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> uh, but it was right next to the Montreal Forum, and uh, the, I see this guy in the background staring. You know, I mean, there was all these other people staring, but you could tell somebody is in the you know kind of in the music business. Right. Um, it stands out a little bit. Yeah, from yeah, the rest stands of the crowd. out. You know, <laughs> and, and when they're just kind of like you know standing there, kind of in a suit and stuff, you know that you know it's. What 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 is this person? So they came up and approached me afterwards, and uh, and they said, uh, "Do do you have original? Do you do any of your own music?" And uh, the band that I was with at the time uh, was called Teaser up there, and uh, I said, "Yeah, actually, we we've been writing. You know, I've been that's uh, you know I, I write my own music a lot. We do. Uh, you know, we've been just started getting into, into all this stuff." And he goes, "Well, um, why don't you come? Why don't you follow me at the end of the night?" So we went, and he had this massive recording studio in, in Montreal. So let me go in a little deeper. If you haven't put in any work, if you haven't came up with ideas, if you haven't started some stuff, and you got to a point to where now you're being, um, you have to make decisions for the things that you're doing, it could be whatever that you're doing. From from being a a artist, drawing artist, tattoo artist, period, movie director, whatever. Any of those things in life, it'll get to a point where, all right. Now you gotta make certain decisions for you, your family, your friends, whoever. And everybody have a weakness. Well. Let me ask you this, just because I know you're 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 critical of of your performances. I mean, you're your biggest critic. What what did you think of your performance? I got the job done. Hmm. I think that um, 
I'm a calculated fighter. I'm older, I'm wiser. Um, and no one talked about Floyd Mayweather early on before I had hand problems. Mm -hmm. You know, early on in my career, before I had hand problems, I could hit a guy with a, a, a left hook, a right hand, and, and, and flatten him. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, and punish guys. That's early on in my career. But let's be smart. You know, throughout the years, boxing is wear and tear on the body. Mm -hmm. So boxing, my hands have took a lot of wear and tear. So they seek out those weaknesses. If we all have weaknesses and these type of spirits, because, you know, we're fighting against the spiritual principalities and things like that, then, of course, they're looking at your life and, and all of those stuff. They're looking at our life. I'll give y'all another example. People will kill you quicker nowadays because you made it out the hood. You, you, you did something with your life. You got a scholarship or whatever. Quicker than drug dealers, quicker than rapists, quicker than money launderers, all of those type of folks. Reason being is because if you get to a certain point, because you got all these psychics and all these fools out here, they already seeking in people's lives, so they like they don't want you to have too much power, too much influence over the the majority of people. And if you do have that influence, everybody in the game, this 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 so-called uh, industry game or whatever, most of them people is being blackmailed. Because if you do, it's like if you do make it in, you have to be blackmailed for the things you had to do to get in. That's just the way it is. Because this world, this evil world, I mean, besides all of that, that evil stuff, this world is complicated. So if you don't do your research and if you don't do certain things in life to like overcome these obstacles, overcome things that, you know, only your spirit can tell you. Since then, we had filled him. With all kinds of stuff, new things that would trigger his mind. Speak it. Oh, I mean, new mention things. Them. Mention them. That will make him <laughs> to be full of unbelief, doubt, fear, pain, and grief. Ah. We came through music. You came through what? Music! Yes. What kind of music? Ah, oh, during the 80s. We call it pop and lock. We fill this brain with mischief. Most people are talented and rich. They're being blackmailed to this day for things that they done. Who knows? We don't know what people do behind closed doors and the things some people do that we have heard of through the internet, through all them, you know, people and stuff. It's been quite disturbing, right? So we don't know what's 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 real, what's what's not. All we can do is go by what we see. But if you haven't put in any work or this is why the world tell you to be everything you can be. Because they know if you fall in love with the things that you do. And then they wait till you get to a point in life till now they step in and they control that. The spot that you're at. The level that they needed you to get to. Then it becomes a problem for, for, for the folks. For people like the ones that's fighting these things. Talent. Talent overall came from God. We know that. But demons and Satan and the spiritual principalities that we are all fighting. 
All they can do is enhance your talent. If you was to give your soul over to them type of people. That's the only thing they can do. Because look at everybody that was successful in the world. Whether you was good and you was a successful big person in the world. Or whether you was evil and you was successful. All of those people, they have too fell. You know, they too fell short. They, they was deceived in some type of way. We've heard all of the history. We heard all of those things. So most folks ask, you know, like, why do people, why do folks sell their soul? Why, why do they do it? I tell y'all why they do it. People sell their soul because they feel like the talent that God gave them is not good enough. They're not getting enough attention. So they take it a step further for quick fame, quick money, and things like that. And this is how God knows if you love yourself or not. Because if you feel like your talent isn't good enough because you need more attention than the attention that you are already receiving. Because you feel like you're getting older and all of these things. Then that's a problem for you. Because the real God people knows that the soul never dies. Just because we age on this world, it don't end. But for the ones that, you know, have gave their souls over to Satan and demons and stuff like that, they, f they tell you you only get one life. They tell you you got to be all you can be in this life. And then if you don't, you know, you, you see most people at a certain age, they feel sad. Or they feel depressed because they didn't get to be everything they needed to be in life. That too is a sin. Because you, why be angry? It don't end here. For the people that, that, that sold out, it ends here. That's why they are so much in a rush. To the point where they just stay busy. Because after this world is over for them. And this is why. This is why. God let them roam the earth for now. Most people ask, oh, why Why is it so much killing? Why is it this? Why is it that? It's two reasons. One, it's because these things are supposed to happen. Because it's been preached through all the Gospels and the Prophets and things like that. Even Jesus and God himself. And two, because those type of people know that it's over for them. They just know it, it, it's, it's no hope and... That's just the way things go. But um, if I wanted to know like why why people with talent, you know, they sell their soul and then they enhance their talent. And notice when a person's contract up, when when most celebrities, they contract up, it's like they lost they lost their buzz. They lost the way they used to be funny or the way they used to act. So they gotta re reapply for a new contract to hope to get that same talent back it's all a game it's all chess and, and, and it's all a game to the to the spiritual world of Satan it's all a game to them but if you have the discernment of God the discernment of understanding the discernment of common sense to overcome even if you lose losing is sometimes means that you win sometimes you have to lose in order to win you have to die in order to win I wanted to share this with y'all because um people have ever wanted to know they want ever wanted to ask themselves like why why do um people they sell their souls why 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 do the devil always go to the people with talent it's because they freaking lazy they're lazy to do the work they self. Their talent is played out. So they use the upcoming people. And it's up to the strong. Depending on how strong you is. Will you overcome? Will you be another statistic? Only time will tell.